We're going to use this model here to represent the lateral struts of the frame. And what we see is from the canopy you get two vertical forces transferred to this structure. You get one that goes into the column and the column here will just transfer that to the ground in compression. And there's another one at the far end of this structure. And this is a little bit more difficult to resolve. We're going to see how this structure here resists the downward force. So one way this structure could resist the vertical force is by this horizontal member here going into bending to resist the load. And this would work, but when the structure is working well, the load doesn't take this path. Because actually, what the load wants to do is go through the stiffest load path to get to the ground. And if there's a stiffer path, a path that involves less strain on the structure than this member here going into bending. Acting in tension and compression, when the force is applied, this member must go into tension to resist that downward force and it will create a horizontal component as well as the vertical component resisting the force. That horizontal component, if you look at the members that meet here, must only be resisted by this horizontal member going into compression. And we can see it's in compression because when we, when we really load the structure you can see it starts to buckle and then it goes. 